What is up, everybody? Welcome back to All The Things, a.k.a. The Beardiful. Let's do another beer review. Let's stay in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, this was picked up at Wayne's Package Store in Warrior. Uh, the song that is the, the gas station that's mentioned in Jason Isbell's Alabama Pines. Um, if you are not from here and you know that song, this is The Wayne's Package Store. This is Good People Brewing Company Imperial Honeyhead IPA. Kind of like a uh, emperor with a hop and some honeybees and a uh, honey, what do you call those things? Like a honey, that, that's a honey, like a high beehive, but the little twirler sticks, my grandparents had one to sit in a honey jar. Maybe it's called a honey twirler, I don't know. Anyway, this is a big one. Uh, oh, I read this somewhere, is it not on the can? Uh, I feel like this is like 8.9 or 9% ABV. This is another one, nothing on the can, uh, no date. I didn't see it on the bottom of any cans. Uh, it could be on other cans. And yeah, they, they usually print something on the side right here. Wait, there is something there. Maybe 815, which would make this two months old. But I really do believe this is like 8.9 or 9% ABV. I'm not really familiar with the style unless this is kind of in the vein of like uh, Hop Slam. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what it pours out. I mean, I'm assuming it's, this is going to be a little bit hazy. It's not going to be clear. A little sludge out the bottom. See what's down there. Uh, so let's see. Uh, all right. So it sits like this golden, orangish. Uh, hazy color in the glass about a full finger of slightly off white head big bubbles at the top tiny bubbles at the bottom let's get a nose on it so a good amount of yeasty crackery notes coming off the top a little bit of sweetness a touch of familiar IPA grapefruit and orange citrus kind of base not really specific to those ne fruits necessarily. But a crackery sweetness for sure that is kind of dominant on the nose. I'm a little bit stuffy today too, but not very, not big, big uh, on the nose as far as like smells go, aromas go. That's a better way to put it. Let's get a taste, y'all. All right, so it's different for sure. So the mouthfeel is kind of medium plus, a little bit stickiness to it, not in the honey way, but there's kind of like this uh, mouth coating after you swallow that kind of feels like it's there, kind of like all inside your cheeks on the outsides of your tongue. Kind of like a, a film that's left in your mouth, but it doesn't. it's not in a bad way. It's kind of like the, the taste is kind of left over. The front of this, though, is more long. There's a little booze on the front end, too, kind of like a, of like a kind of alcohol. And then there's still that crackery, yeasty, like a big yeasty body kind of thing. Um, it's sweeter than a normal IPA, for sure, on the front end. And there is a hint of bitterness on the back end that kind of lingers and kind of like a uh, piney, like, I'm looking for it. Like, what is the descriptor right there? There's a, there's a hint of like this piney, almost dankness going on. It's just kind of like, but it just kind of lingers on the mouthfeel, on the stickiness of it. Uh, the booze goes away real quick. Like it doesn't burn in your chest or anything like that. So it's just kind of noticeable and then it's gone. Uh, it's okay. So this is not my favorite style of IPAs, but I wanted to try it because good people made it. Um, and it was in my local gas station. So uh, it's, it's good for what it is, just not my favorite. 
uh, I will say I have, I'm pretty like I said I'm pretty sure this is 8.99% so it's like a one at a time kind of deal uh, it's been so long since I've had hop slam I can't remember if this is close hop slam is big too right like a big ABV I don't know what did y'all think I know that some of the people from Birmingham have been re-watching these videos, uh, or these new videos that I've been posting. And I'm kind of going to give a rundown next week when I have some time about what happened. Um, why I took a year off uh, from drinking, period. Uh, and then when I started drinking, I started drinking bourbons and then got back into beer. But I'll give an update on all that at some point. Uh, so Imperial Honeyhead, again, not my favorite style, but is it worth trying? Absolutely. A very interesting brew. That's all I got. Until next time, y'all. Peace.